you know, you, you can't go back in time, but I kind of wish I did. Uh, my name is Joel Gerson. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for uh, over 35 years. Fought professionally MMA in Japan. Obviously. Oh, dude, that's that is incredible, man. Yeah. Oh, look at look how bad it's bent, man. <laughs> that dude has submitted a lot of f***ing people. And uh, I opened the first MMA gym in Toronto in 2005 or so, so about over 15 years ago. So I was always familiar with Huron and Henner's work online, but um, I wasn't as familiar with their system and the programs that they offered. It wasn't until a black belt friend of mine had mentioned to me that, uh, that I should actually get on board and represent in Toronto. And forever, I had never affiliated with any jiu-jitsu affiliation. Since I'd started jiu-jitsu in Canada, there was no affiliations. So for me, affiliating with anybody was not really appealing. My friend actually mentioned that I should visit their academy because it was the nicest in the world. And that, I think that was, um, that was high praise I had to see for myself. So I came down to LA and actually met with Henner. And we sat for three hours. He got into all the details of the program. And just to appreciate this meeting, uh, I was watching his phone blow up nonstop with multiple messages coming up and emails and he didn't look at it once. He was locked in on explaining everything about the program. Every possible problem had a solution as far as the system was concerned and I came away very impressed. From my experience, from everything that I've seen, Gracie Combatives is the best beginner program hands down for any beginner. When I actually witnessed the classes, I saw stuff that I'd never seen before. I don't think people have an idea online of how big the classes are and the quality of the instruction. What actually impressed me the most was to see blue belts teaching jujitsu and knowing how to integrate a beginner and correct a beginner at a level that most black belts can't do. And I remember thinking to myself that there are blue belts here that I would hire over black belts that I know who have been teaching for 20 years. It's funny because I know they take a lot of heat for their methodologies teaching online and people learning jujitsu virtually, but my experience was that it's actually extremely difficult. And it's not just the technical material of the jujitsu, but it's how to teach it, how to structure it. It was a lot of work to a point where I actually don't believe that many black belts can get through it. It's quite challenging. When I came in person to test, um, I really saw with my own eyes how they are really drilling down on the quality and making sure that everything that's done at their own academy is done the same way at all the other academies around the world. So I finished the uh, instructor certification program live in California, then I went back to integrate everything and it was crazy. Over time, it was just interesting to see little things that started happening. A guy would drive from across the city for private lessons because he specifically wanted Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Guys leaving their sports jiu-jitsu academies because they were getting mangled and hurt and they wanted a little bit more of a structured, safer environment. I would have police officers joining the academy because they couldn't risk getting smashed by the comp competition black belts and purple belts and blue belts at the other academy. And obviously the beginner program uh, you know, doubled over time and the kids program doubled over time. I think now we're at around a thousand students and we're still growing. And I feel like if, you know, if I had just started uh, when I first opened my academy with this program, I, I'm trying to think how things would have been different. You know, I, I do definitely wish I, you know, our paths had crossed a little bit earlier, but, um, you know, you, you can't go back in time, but I kind of wish I did.